In this video, I'll discuss about fluid mechanics gate syllabus and important topics in that. So this includes fluid statics, Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids, Bernoulli equation, microscopic friction factor, energy balance, dimensional analysis, cell balance, flow through pipeline system, flow meters, pumps and compressors, packed and fluidized beds, elementary boundary, elementary boundary layer theory. Important topic uh, in fluid statics are hydrostatic equilibrium condition, barometric equation, then comes hydrostatic equilibrium in centrifugal field, then comes differential manometer, inclined manometer, continuous gravity decanter and centrifugal decanter. Basically, in Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids, two cups are very important and one should study uh, very rigorously uh, regarding these two cups. So first curve is shear stress versus velocity gradient and this curve is very important. Now second curve is viscosity versus stress over time. So you should study in details regarding these two cups. Now we'll discuss about important topics in fluid flow phenomenon and the important topics are ideal fluid, boundary layer, condition for irrotational and incompressible fluid, continuity equation, navier stokes equation, momentum correction factor for turbulent and laminar flow, Bernoulli equation, stream function and how siphon works. Hagen Poisley equation. Now I'll discuss about important topics in flow past image bodies. In that uh, important topics are drag coefficient for laminar and turbulent flow, terminal settling velocity in Stokes law region and Newton's law region. This is very very important. Now comes organic equation. It consists of kuzni karman equation and burke plummer equation and this equation is very important because this equation is being, being used in calculation for pressure drop in packed beds. So please please remember this formula and it has a lot of use and many times gate question directly came based on this formula only. After this comes fluidization, uh, types of fluidization, fluidization condition, expanded bed height. Uh, this is very important and in this fluidization curves come with that curve you need to remember. Now I'll discuss important formula in this one by one. Drag coefficient for laminar and turbulent flow. Terminal settling velocity in Stokes law region and Newton's law region and their formula. Argan equation. After this uh, we need to see fluidization curve. This is all about flow past immersed bodies. Now we'll discuss about transportation and metering of fluids. In that we'll study about pumps, types of pumps, NPSH, what is NPSH, cavitation, cause of cavitation, then comes positive displacement pump what are the positive displacement pump and how it is categorized then comes your affinity law, loss for pump and this is very important after this uh, we will go for metering of fluids in that uh, we will discuss about venturi meter, orifice meter, rotameter, variable flow meter, variable area meter these all are very important study well and prepare nicely on, on all these topics all the best.